And Joshua, the son of Anun, minister of Moses, rose early in the morning, drank a cup of coffee, took a cold shower, slapped himself on the side of the face, and then on the other, to make sure he was most assuredly awake. And they removed from Shittim, and came to Jordan, he and all the children of Israel. And they asked him, quite politely, if he would please autograph their basketballs, which had the Chicago Bulls logo emblazoned on the side. And Jordan then did autograph the basketball, and did pose for some pictures, and then he did drop some hints as to whether he would unretire from sports and would get his tall, athletic ass back over unto the basketball court. And they lodged there, before they passed over, in a roadside hotel, which charged them $35 for the night. And it came to pass, after three days, that the officers and petty officers, and chief petty officers and law enforcement officers, went through the host, which did cause the host to writhe in pain upon the ground. And they commanded the people, saying, When you see the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your Todd, and the priests of the Levites bearing it, and Harrison Ford following after them, and George Lucas and Steven Spielberg following after him, then you shall remove from your place and go after it, until you come unto the movie theater. And even thereunto shall you purchase unto yourselves tickets, large sodas, and medium popcorn, with butter and salt. And then you shall turn your cell phones to the golf position, and remain quiet, as to have respect unto others around you. And there shall be a space between you and it, about 2,000 cubits by measure, which, if you do the math, means that the Ark of the Covenant will be in front with the army of Israel falling about a half mile behind, and somehow this is supposed to make sense. Instead of the Ark being of the middle of the army of Yahweh, so that it may be protected from attack from the enemy, it is instead put in front of the army with the strongest and most capable soldiers more than a half mile away from it so that it could be easily attacked or perhaps be stolen from the Israelis, so that it may be lost even unto this day with no archaeological evidence as to where their enemies put it, or even if it existed in the first place. So stay ye away from it about half mile behind it, and come not near unto it, that you may know the way by which ye must go, for ye have not passed this way before except for the two spies that just came back from Jericho in the previous chapter, and, in fact, know exactly where they are going. Ignore them, and follow the ark instead, which is borne on the shoulders of the priest, who also have not passed this way heretofore. And minister Joshua, the son of Anun, said unto the people, Sanctify yourselves, for tomorrow the Lord will do wonders among you, such as card tricks, lion taming, and pulling a rabbit out of his hat, though certain of you will be skeptical, and shall try to figure out how he did it. And Joshua spake unto the priests and to Indiana Jones, saying, Take up the Ark of the Covenant, and pass over before the people. And the priests answered and said unto Joshua, Which is it? Do you want us to pass over the people, or pass before them? Mr. Spielberg needs to know this information so that he may tell the special effects artist how to set up the scene. And Joshua said, Pass before the people, not over them, you idiots. And the priests and Indiana Jones and a group of German Nazis took up the Ark of the Covenant and went before the people. And the Lord said unto Minister Joshua, This day will I begin to magnify thee in the sight of all Israel, using an oversized magnifying glass just after the lion taming act and just before I saw the woman in half. And since this is the Old Testament, that last bit is going to be literal. And they shall know that, as I was with Moses, so I will be with thee, just so long as thou shalt not hit a rock with this tap, after I did ask thee to speak unto it. After all, there is no reason that thou shalt be violent in any way. And thou shalt command the priests that bear the Ark of the Covenant, and Harrison Ford following them, saying, When ye are come unto the brink of the water of Jordan, ye shall stand still in Jordan. And Jordan did raise a finger in protest, for at this point he was thoroughly confused. And Minister Joshua said unto the children of Israel, for the adults were worthless when it came to accomplishing these types of tasks. 
Come hither, and hear the words of the Lord your Todd, as you sit around me in a semicircle, and as you read from my picture book, and it is recorded for broadcast in the local access television channel. And Joshua said, Hereby ye shall know that the living Todd is among you, and that he will without fail drive out from before you the Canaanites, the Hittites, the Hivites, the Perizzites, the Gergesites, the Amorites, and the Jebusites. And that is exactly what is going to happen without any issues at all whatsoever. And notice that Almighty Todd is going to do this all by himself, and you will not have to do anything yourself, or even so much as lift up a finger, or fall into any danger, or under any circumstances get wounded or killed in the process of this particular military campaign. Surely, this is exactly how this is going to happen. Behold the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord of all the earth, but apparently not the Lord of all the solar system, nor of all the galaxy, nor of all the universe, including all known and unknown dimensions, for most assuredly that entity is a different god altogether. Now therefore, take ye twelve men out of the tribes of Israel, out of every tribe of man, who will all just stand there listening to their iPods and dancing unto music that no other man can hear, which they will continue to do until such time when I finally tell them what to do sometime during the next video. And it shall come to pass, as soon as the soles of the feet of the priests that bear the ark of the Lord, the Lord of all the earth, but not of the solar system, nor the galaxy, nor the universe, shall rest in the waters of Jordan, that the water of Jordan shall be cut off from the waters that come down from above. And they shall stand upon a heap, never mind that such a situation violates all the laws of physics. And just like a highly intelligent and diligent student who studied hard and read all of his assignments and got plenty of sleep the night before the final exam, it came to pass. When the people removed from their tents, what they removed from the tents is unknown, but I would surmise that it might be their trash cans. To pass over Jordan, which caused Michael to become rather nervous, as he could not ascertain how several hundred thousand highly armed Israeli soldiers can jump over the top of a six and a half foot tall NBA player. And the priests bearing the Ark of the Covenant before the people, and Indiana, and German Nazis, and Spielberg, and Lucas. And as they that bear the Ark were coming to Jordan, for they wanted yet another autograph on a Washington Wizards jersey, and the feet of the priests that bear the Ark were dipped in the brim of the water, as they fancied a bit of a weight in the cold water, what with this weather. For Jordan overflowed all of his banks all the time of harvest. For he invested his money wisely and still had many different commercial endorsements, and he tends to donate massive amounts of money to the Make-A-Wish Foundation, the Special Olympics, and the Boys and Girls Clubs, with go as far to explain why people like him so much. And the waters which came down from above stood and rose up in a heap very far from the city of Adam, which is beside Zarethan, or however pronounced that. And those that came down towards the Sea of the Plain, even the Salt Sea, failed and were cut off. It is these types of miracles that make scholars face palm themselves, as there is absolutely no evidence to show that this actually happened. And the people passed over, right against Jericho. And the priests that bear the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord stood firmly on dry ground in the midst of Jordan. For Mike was smart enough to stand in the sand next to the bank of the river, for he had forgotten his swimming trunks. And all the Israelites passed over on dry ground until all the people were passed clean over Jordan, for each of them were able to jump higher than six and a half feet. And the Israelites walked over unto the far bank of the river, where they met Barrett and Cloud from the previous chapter, as they had already forded the river exactly where they had a few days before, jumping from rock to rock, splashing playfully in the water, as they had no problem crossing the river at all. And they looked back at the other Israelis crossing the dried riverbed with a large heap of water upriver magically held in place. And they did scratch their heads, wondering what all the fuss was about. Up to the walls of Jericho, smart gun in his hand. Go to love him, the heart cried, dies away. The battle is in my hand. Hallelujah! Got your pistol battle of Jericho. 